are so many great instruments out there, and as you're discovering them all, you might be asking the question, well, which instrument should I play? Well, the answer to that comes down to just this. What do you want to play? You should play an instrument that you really enjoy, that you love the sound of, you love the look of, you find easy to play, and you really want to learn. You might know what that instrument is now, but most likely you don't yet. Don't worry. I will help you make a great choice. The first step is to try out the different instruments. In the fall, we will hold an instrument petting zoo. <laughs> Not the kind of petting zoo where you pet animals, but where you can feel and try out each different instrument. You might find that you like an instrument more than you thought you would, or that an instrument that you were considering feels weird to you. The second step is to figure out which instrument matches you the best. At the petting zoo, you'll probably find that some instruments are very difficult to make a sound on, and others are very easy. We will tell you which instruments we would recommend playing, and which ones might be too difficult for you to really want to pursue. <laughs> We want to match you up with an instrument that's not going to be too hard to create a sound on. Otherwise, you'll have to spend all of your time working to produce a sound while everyone else is learning how to play music. Third step is to listen to real musicians and to decide what instrument you like the sound of. You can do this in live performances or on YouTube. You want to choose an instrument that you enjoy listening to since you will spend a lot of time making that sound. Finally, if you're still having a difficult time deciding what instrument you're really interested in playing, you might consider which instrument in the band has the fewest people playing it. Our band would not sound very good if we had only two trumpets, but 20 trombones. We might suggest to you that, playing a, that you play a particular instrument just to help us have a good number of people on each instrument in the beginning band. When we get together in the fall, we'll take a look at which section has each number. What if you're interested in playing percussion? Well, percussion is a unique instrument section because it's actually not just one instrument, but many. Percussion students learn how to play the mallet instruments, such as the xylophone and the bells, drums, such as the snare drum, bass drum, and timpani, and auxiliary instruments, such as the cymbal, triangles, and shaker. It requires a person with very good coordination and a good sense of rhythm. Students have been playing piano for a number of years often make excellent percussion students since the mallet instruments are so similar to the piano. If you're interested in percussion, you'll need to go through an audition at the beginning of the school year. That will help us to make sure that you will be successful at percussion. We don't want to put someone on percussion if they will struggle and find it too difficult. Don't worry, the audition isn't that hard, and if you don't make it, there are plenty of other instruments that you can play. So when do you need to decide which instrument to play? Well, not until the beginning of the school year in the fall. You don't need to worry about getting an instrument before the school year begins. I will help you get everything you need once the year starts. If you know for certain what instrument you would like to play now, I would still suggest waiting to get your instrument and supplies so that you can make sure you don't get the wrong things. So, which instrument should you play? Well, I will help you find out which instrument is the best for you, but ultimately, you get to decide. I hope to see you in band this next year.